Hey folks, I'm Sophie Glory, and welcome to part 26 of my campaign of Sudrear in Thrones of Britannia. So, we are at peace at the moment, uh, but we're going to head south and raid Gwyneth down here. Uh, well, a few major factions left. Danelaw, West Saxon are at war again. Uh, Ireland is almost at peace. Once Difflin is wiped out, then Eilich and Elaid are the main powers. Up in Scotland, Kirkin, uh, <laughs> disliked by just about everybody, so they might go and attack me, it's possible. But I'm just hanging on for now. Uh, I need to wait another 10 turns to complete this royal monastery. Uh, once we have the royal monastery, we come down here and take Grian and Eilich. I'm really hoping that they are building in this. Can't see it. I'm sure I looked at it before somehow and they were actually building it. Unless we had to cancel it. Anyway, that's the longer term goal. So we've got our armies here heading south. This army here is just keeping an eye on Kirkin for now. Let's move you up to the border and you can just fortify there next turn. I think we will get more cav. Another unit of axemen. Uh, we'll do that later. We've got plenty of money so let's have a look through the provinces and see Oh, Kate, we're not uh, taxing you. Uh, public orders at five, so let's do that. Taxing everybody else. Right. Don't need the noble estates. I uh, don't need food in particular. Silver mine. I think we'll go with that. Splash out. Although it takes eight tons. So does that. What other options do we have? That'd give us a bit more fame. We'll go for the church workshop actually. And anything in Iregoidal? Not really. But Sidria itself, no. Okay, looks like. There's nothing else to build, unless I want to upgrade that. Hmm. Let's get an abbey. Okay, let's move on. And hopefully it all remains peaceful. Don't trust Kirkin at all. What was that? Oh, I, Eric, no! My king has died. Age 73. Okay, so we need a new general. 
I suppose we may as well go for a you since you've got some additional traits. Yep. Okay. I want to have a look up here, I think. Ah, Inverness. That wasn't my province, which is fine. I can't remember now if Kirkin held that or not. Okay, uh, let's go down here. General Grimmer. Do I want to have my king sit around here? Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that... Yeah, let's go ahead. Improve the campaign map movement range. But we will then replace the general. With Thoraren. Don't go with Gorm. It's, not, it's only temporary anyway. You come in there. The fleet stands ready. Stand ready. Okay. Long ships high. So I think we'll replace you with Grimmer. Here. Yes, okay. Gorm, temporary, so we don't need to worry about low loyalty really. Loop up the corridor though, because of that event. Heraldr, another governor. And. I think we'll go with Scribe. Your loyalty is okay for now. And Bolly. Again, your loyalty is alright. The Gorm has low loyalty. Okay. I just want to check out. Things are improving again with the Dane Law. I was worried that they were deteriorating since I had. Uh, declined to join their war. But things are good, so let's move on. Just get past Kirkin. You can deal with those Scottish rebels. I have achieved greater rank. Good. And Grimmer lost one loyalty because he lost general status. So we will replace him. There we go. And just head all the way south. And you come down. Stay together. We'll and here, through. I need to wait for another turn. Let's get you Let's back go. into Govan. And so we'll get another retinue axe infantry. And a couple of skirmisher cav to round out that army. 
Okay. We've got rationing so we can now get our siege advancements, get catapults. And you. Um, let's give you the priest for loyalty. Eight more turns. Let's move on. Peaceful again. Blockade a port for a thousand gold. Okay. That can be done. Uh, that's right. General's ready for duty again, so that's in here. Place. Uh, it was you, I believe. We pledge our service. And we just stay in Govan, I think, till these units have healed up. Ready Down here. We can blockade this port already. Let's go ahead and do that. North Leod, I won't bother calling you in. You just defend your own provinces. Just maintain that siege, that blockade. And we'll bring you down. What's this? A rebel army. Excellent. Actually, can I get you ashore? Damn. Okay, stay where you are. And... I've got 5,000 gold. That takes 8 tons. I thought it may have been quicker than that. Okay, never mind. Kate. Again, eight turns. Yeah, there we go. That doesn't give us anything other. Well, five fame. Not to be sneezed at. Conditions. Current total 130. Let's let's do it anyway. Okay. And I think we just move on again. I should have. Well, doesn't matter us. Wants to ch or I thought I should check and see how the attack on Gwynedd might have affected in diplomatic relations with other people. Okay, um, got church workshop. That's all fine. No loyalty, Gorm. Okay. The sea awaits. So let's. Can we actually make the attack there? I suppose we can. I may as well do that, I suppose. Uh, let's manually fight the battle. I don't think I've had a seaborne invasion in this campaign. OK, 
Okay. Attacking in the rain. I suppose I may as well just do that. It's not as if I can deploy my archers anyway. So we'll start deployment. Let's get our spears. Okay, you're in the front already, that's good. Going behind. Have you down there? You're there. And reinforcements come in from the far side, of course. And the cav comes in over here as well. That'll do. Oh, there's the cav there. Stay in skirmish mode and stay where you are. And otherwise, let's start the battle. You get ashore there. The enemy approaches. You get in there. The enemy tremble before our superior put the archers out here. No, I don't want to put the archers out there, because... Well... Yeah, I will. They can stand outside, take that down that tower, and then just shoot into the settlement. We've got another group here. And... Group them. Okay, let's get you guys and there. That's not going to make any use of you, I suppose. And I didn't send the general in. You come in. Is there anywhere you can land? Not really. Let's come in a bit closer then. Okay, let's speed up a bit. Okay. Bowmen. Let me form up there. Let's form up. Okay, they're just standing by, letting me form up, it seems. So you form up there. You're in behind. You can take down that barricade so we can move and land a bit. You go there. You're going to head around there. You head in there. You head up there. You can't, um, because it's raining, of course. So I need you to take that tower. You get in there as well. Okay. Oh, no. You mean. Just make sure you're out of range. I don't want anybody getting casualties they can avoid. And back over here. Um, we 
reinforcements coming in, they do. Okay. So you get up to there. See, they flee before our might. You head up there to reinforce them. And let's get a general ashore now. Alright. Bowman head to there. And we'll have you come round here. You attack. Good. And you come round here as well. You get there as quickly as you can. Are you taking that? You have. Okay. Well, actually... Can you run round there? Oh well, I didn't want you to go that way. Come round here. You as well. Okay, General. Come up, stand there. Let's have you run up to there. You there. And those archers can reach in. Get some fire in on them. Exhausted and attacked in the rear. And they're getting missile fire as well. Speaking of which, let's stop the missile fire. Move you along. Well, no, actually, I don't want you in range of that tower. Let's just move you to here. How are we doing up here? there. You head for that tower. You attack into the general actually. Shaxman. And you just take that tower. Okay, so they're exhausted as well, shaking. They've broken. So you for the general, even for them. They probably don't have very much over here at all. There we go. You hit them. They've broken as well. Let's get who? X Men. Not you. you. Yeah, you and you. You head up here. We'll have you and you. 
Get down there. General's not coming back. Okay, General, you follow up there as well. I'll have you form a group. from there. I don't think there's anything up there. And this and this are probably all that they've got left. Longbowmen. Might there be more longbowmen somewhere? Okay, let's move fast forward. around here. And you up there. Okay. And we'll have you. Uh, they've got another unit there. So general, you come up here. We'll go back, I think, now to normal speed. Form up there. Those long women disappeared. Oh, who's this? That's the long woman there. Uh, General, you come over and hit them in the back. Who's fleeing? Where are you? Where are you taking fire from? Is that from here? I'm not supposed to be in range of that. Right, Axeman. You can get up there quickly. You attack them. Right, so if you head up to there. Our men run from the enemy. That's annoying. I didn't even notice they were taking fire. Presumably they were taking fire. You head up there. You in there. Yeah, and you into that bit. Okay. Mailed swordsman, mailed swordsman. Axemen, spearmen, shifting. Crush them. Bring them. Take. You can move behind. You can move behind as well. for a flank attack. Ah, sneaky. You wouldn't hit them. You attack there. You're attacking the flank. You attack them as well, you hit them, and hopefully that will end the battle. Bring the general up to here. And you head in there. You come around here. Right, 
Okay, so they've broken. You head there. You as well. Yep, you go round and attack into the rear, into the flank. These guys are doing well. Well, against Eastman Marauders, who were weakened. You go over there. General, just stay back. Out of range of the towers, although we're taking the towers. No false enough. Oh, there's a victory anyway. Okay. So 710 losses. Um, a couple of X-Men took some heavy damage. But this is the most annoying thing, as I said. But never mind. So we will sack a bear throw. Ships at your command. And we'll, uh, we'll head here next. But we'll do that in the next part. Uh, so for now, thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And hope to see you again next time. Cheers.